What's up, my fire makers? Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we beat Chapter 7 into the Chapter 7 Evolog. And today's episode is going to be a little bit of a kind of a boring one, honestly. We're going to be a lot of reading. Let's Part of this is going to talk about uh, this guy. This guy's name is Wonky. You ask him questions, he'll. For five coins, he'll tell you any kind of information he knows. Let's go ahead and talk to him for a second. About a thousand years ago, there was a pirate king called Cortez of the Seas. He raided the city often, striking fear to the hearts of the, of the inhabitants. Cortez was betrayed by one of the members of his crew. Just before he died, he said he'll have sealed off of his treasure. Then, even after he died, some may say, some say his spirit would still protect the treasure. But you know, that's all just rumors. And that's that. So. <laughs> that was Flavio's ancestors that betrayed him. Layla's private life. Yep, I'll go ahead and uh, pay for it. You know, Layla, the cute receptionist that's beyond the parlor? She never gets per too personal from beyond those iron bars because it's a person. But that's visible. You get there and talk, she's totally a different person. Go ahead and let. So that was what I was talking about earlier, where like if you get the uh, records in the games, you can be able to talk to her. Now, in terms of, <sighs> I'm gonna have you guys read it just for a second so I can ramble on a little bit. This guy has a lot of information. Uh, this one's talking about the jam and jelly we got in Keyhole Key, where you have the two blocks that let you climb up, and then there's a third one to do a spring jump on. We use the, the hammer for it, but. Some information includes the start piece panel in here, he'll tell you about that. If you In the original game, he'll tell you about how to use the Z button, that will be your HUD. Uh, there's another one. Pretty sure he told you about, yeah, he tells you about the, uh, the badge I found in, uh, what's it called? People who don't get, my members are allowed to play this special game, well that's what all wonky ears. I'm okay, I'm not paying attention. But, um. Far Outpost. That's, I couldn't think of the word. Far Outpost. He tells you about the badge in Far Outpost. Zesty's sister. Zesty's sister? Zesty has a sister? About Zesty near Roport's main square. I've heard her sister is a really, really good cook as well. She married and moved away a long time ago, but I'd love to try her cooking. Oh! That's, uh, that's Tasty from the original game! Okay, that's a callback. Nice. Oh, we already know about the strange tag. Level 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials lets you hold 20 items instead of 15. Easy adventuring. Yeah, I don't know why. It was raised from 15 to 20. I don't know why that was a thing, but it is a thing. Grubba, okay. What do we have to say about Grubba? So about the Grubba and Glitzville. He went from a mediocre fighter to the rule of Glitzville in a matter of years. There's a rumor that he used to... He found a glittering gem somewhere. I don't know what kind of stuff it was. Must have been a good, nice good luck charm. Then again, I heard he hasn't been seen recently on Glitzville, so who knows. <laughs> that glittering gem was indeed our crystal star, so... We already did the story of The Minstrel. I, uh, the Minstrel? There's a Minstrel by the name of Grifty. Yeah, a, oh, that's the guy we were talking about in uh, Chapter 5! That, that's him. Okay, we already knew about that one. I suppose that's all I have to say. Anything else? Striking first. Uh, we already know about that, but let's listen to it anyway. Yeah, it's the same as the original game. If you use a spin jump on an enemy, they'll use a spin jump attack. And if you use a Koopa Shell or Bobbery's attack, you use the, their attack first. The incident I saw. Okay, tell us. So I saw this really cool girl in a pink dress walking around. Okay, that's Princess Peach. It's pretty easy, pretty enough to be a princess, I tell you. I hung around the town for a little while as I buy some things from that old lady. Then she got nabbed in a back alley by some suspicious guys in white suits. Okay, so she got nabbed by the X-Nots after buying that. Wonky saw it, but no one else did. I <laughs> should have spoken up before until now. <laughs> Oops. That's all I have to say. Yep. That's pretty good. I might I might include it in another video. Not sure. The Legend of Rogueport, okay. You've heard of the legendary treasure hidden beneath Rogueport, right? 
Apparently, it's a vast force from that ancient forgotten civilization. Most people think it's just a silly myth, though, of course, not wonky. Okay, great. According to my sources, is the real deal, huh? Who are my sources? Well, I can't really say, can I? That, my friend, is what's called a trade secret. Great! <laughs> Fantastic! Let's tell me some more. The charm. Uh, is that more lovely or Merly? Merly, okay. Yeah, that's the one where I bought coins earlier to get the, um, yeah, the battle, where it's like, it increased attack power, increased defense power. We, we knew, we know, <clears throat> excuse me, we know about this. <laughs> what? What? Lucky punies. Oh, the punies? Yeah, we've, we've been there to Bollywood, so we know about the punies. I wonder if his, um, his information is chapter-based, because, like, we're going all over separate chapters. Because you, the only... T I'm trying to think. You can access this area as soon as the end of chapter one. So, I don't know if it's chapter-based or not. Well, if you ever want to collect more coins, then... Buy the, buy the gold bars. Less what it costs, yeah. Pay more for the, the selling. Okay, so a gold bar is um retirement plan. Each gold bar is three hundred coins. If I remember correctly. So the, what he's saying is that if you buy for three hundred coins, they'll sell for like four hundred, and if that's the uh, that's the thing. Yoshi colors. A lot of Yoshi's live. We have support from eggs that everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah, so it depends on the egg conditions right before hatching. So it's always surprising to see what comes out, you know what I mean? Okay. So, that is a gimmick in this game. It's not more or less information about that egg hatch behind the sign. Uh, I think that's the, uh, the graffiti sign. So I'm going to talk about the Yoshis for a second. The gimmick in the game is like... Depending on how long you take for Chapter 3 in order to get to the Yoshi Kid, is how long it does. It depends on what color you get. So if you get the base Yoshi, you took X amount of time, so on and so forth. I suppose that's all I have to say. So it's a really nice touch to have. You could have like one with like a nice little afro. <laughs> but I, there, I'm not gonna keep talking about them. There is a lot of information. I just, I just merely scratched the surface off of a lot of like a like a coin to a lottery ticket. Just scratch the surface off. There's a lot to it. Alright. Now that that mouthful of a thing is out of the way. Well, you can visit... You can still read all the stuff. I don't know how much there is. I couldn't tell you. What we're going to be doing now is going to talk to Lumpy. We haven't done it since you came back in Chapter 6, so I'll meet you guys right back at the docks. Alright, back at the docks and... Hi, Lumpy. I haven't talked to you in a while. Ah, Mario! It's me, Lumpy. Does you remember? I went to dry dress, dry, dry dress and drill for oil, remember? I... I... I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times I was covered in dust, weak, and ready to give up, but, but, I never lost sight of the dream. One day, I finally seized it. And you believe me in all this time, are you? Sure did. Thank you so much! I want to turn you the low, a little more than I appreciate. Than I appreciate. 999 coins! Yes! That is the reward for... Giving him all the coins we did. I'm going to tell you what the actual values are. If you only gave him 100 coins, he'll only give you back 300 coins. Wait, get the journal? This is the thing? Okay. Uh, hold, hold off on that coin thing. I fi I'm finally off tomorrow. I fill my pack of cheese and I'm ready to go. My to do this is cross out, so I owe much of my investors, not just money. The old. I will get rich quick dream, but this is different. I have a reason. See, I go to my hometown. It's cold there. People are constantly shivering. If I find oil and sand there, the people use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and make them happy. It seems to be good perfect gold, yeah? I'm always I've always always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is a big part of it too, but who doesn't want money? Money, money! Cover me with it, please! <laughs> well enough for tonight. Hey, yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Read another? Yeah, sure. The buzzer fiend. Why do I have to turn out like this? I got to tow town by boat, then I took a train to Mount Rugged. That's, um, that's in the original game. Of course, you can't. I want to get the desert to go through Mount Rugged. Why not the, uh, 
face off the riding trail and a huge, awful vulture I had about with my brochures. I suppose it costed all travels on Mount Rugged. I hightailed it with the buzzer had me in its sights. I felt a piercing jolt as the claws dug deep into my backpack. After dropping me off onto a cliff, the buzzer seemed to forget me and disappear. I let out a sigh of relief, but when I touched my bag, I noticed my pack was gone. My pack! All my food and money was to start the operation! No! That mangy buzzer made off with everything important to me! All I have left is a journal and a shovel to dig for oil. My life! But perhaps a living miracle enough, or so I believe. Now I can't turn my back. I climb the mountains into the desert. The dragger desert sprawls before me, beckoning the dreamers and fools. I am both sat with a heart full of dread. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. No, it's not. So that's a tie to chapter 2 of the original game for Paper Mario 64. I'm out of a place called Dry Dry Apple. Someone pulled me lifeless and parts from the Mercedes Desert floor. It was a Koopa with a fine mustache in Colorado. Hey! Colorado again! World traveling adventure, archaeologists. I told him about Buzzer. My, I, my quest for oil, my dreams for riches and war to my people. And after I spoke at length, he gave me a food and water. That's why should he, he's be, why should he be so kind? Turning one's back is on an ambitious dreamer. He invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I, I, I just I just want to believe in every dream the sad world can muster. This guy still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. We stayed all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. Read another. A reliable guy. I am now in a desert oasis. After Colorado left, I set my I set up for my driver I post to find my digging point. But the desert is so wide it's impossible to find anything without a guy. I had no idea where I was going, and I was my head was splitting with the my head was splitting in the heat. Ugh. My throat was burning, my scratch and scratch was I awake? Was I dead? Hey, are you a nice guy? If you're a nice guy, then give me something nice. I didn't have food or water, so I reached you from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you're a nice guy, then give me a nice thing, and I will help. I croaked. All I have is all I have is my tree. When I next woke, I was at the Oasis. You're awake, I heard. There was a little mouser and a gray, he gray head scarf. My name is Mustafa. I have nothing to give, but I've got something nice anyway. Sorry, you have nothing to give, but I've got something nice anyway. I don't know how or why, but it seems that I've been saved by no yet another stranger. Do you read a guy? Do you need a guy? If there is. <sighs> Unbelievable, I actually found a reliable guy. Once again, me and reading fast is not helping. <laughs> the digging point. We're here! I finally had a spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus-like rock. Okay, that's a from the original game. When north of precise distance of the exact termination point, I ended up here between dry dry ruins and the oasis. Masafa had got to be this far with skill and bravery. He said, you're a nice guy. Your dream will come true. Masafa believes this. He left leaving me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do is dig here until I find oil. That's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis and it actually lasted me a few days. I must find that oil. <laughs> yes, I would like to read two more, please. The Long Dig. The Long Dig. I came digging for oil now and my hands shake as I write these perhaps. I've been digging from sun up to sundown, but still no signs of that crude, sweet crude. Maybe just picked a dry spot, this cursed land, this cursed desert. I'm sure this this is where we're lovely told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no more food or water, or even my hopes have dwindled to nothing. Ah, this is it. My dream dies here with me, under these unforgiving skies. My dream. My... My? Wait, no, this is not it. My dream is something else. Yes, of something else. Dig. Keep digging. I must keep digging. Arms move, body fork, find oil. <laughs> and for the last one, we have the wrap up. I now a bow back to Deer Rope Corp. I did it. I finally struck oil in that dry desert. I have left the day to day operation to my men on the field now to return home. It all came true. Striking it rich, finding oil, my dream. But somewhere along the way, this just became more than just my dream. So many people have helped me to make my dreams happen. So many. If you have anything to give, but something nice anyway, dear Mustafa. I just wanted to believe in every dream the sad world can muster. Ah, Colorado. For people who lent me money and gave me my food and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. 
I must share this feeling with the people that help me as I stroke. I must share these words I have seared them into my heart. Or seared themselves in my heart. Dreams come true. Love it. No. I think that's good. So, I see. I'll just be here thinking about what to do next, so say hi anytime. With that entire book, it talks about the some of the events that happened in Chapter 2 of the original Paper Mario 64, where Colorado is an archaeologist who's trying to find the Dry Dry Ruins, and then Mustafa is your help who is supposed to be hiding the Dry Dry Ruins from evildoers. That's spoilers for the chapter. I'm not saying anything else other than that. So I'm glad that they tied it into here as like a, a throwback, if you will. Now, there is one thing we have to do now, and that is going to be our interloper. It's time for the chapter 7 questions. Well, I'll meet you guys back at Creepy Steep. Oh, before I go, though, uh, yeah, this star piece I definitely forgot before. Uh, now, 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 we are going to go to Creepy Steep. Alright, we are here in Creepy Steeple now, and I'm just about to enter the room here, and hello, interloper. Back from more, eh? Want me to quiz you again? If you get three more questions right, I'll give you something good. Quiz me! Alright, first question. Bob's father's name is Golba. What is his mother's name? Ooh, that's a good one. <clears throat> it's none of those except for Sylvia. Posse was the name of the place. Toodles was the uh, rich woman. And definitely not Rock Hawk. Space food. If you stay far enough place, you get space food. I didn't go into the inn. I didn't need to. Uh, question three. Which crystal star was found in Exile Fortress? That is the crystal star. Not mega star, not movie star. Diamond star was said to be in Tails Belly at, at the Exile base. So we know that's it. And it's a shooting star! Okay, we get a free one! That's good! That's very good! Alright, now, what do we want to do now? Hmm. Got the questions. What did I want to do now? Did that for Lumpy. Hmm. There isn't much to do now, no? We gotta go back, I know that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I th in the last episode, I wanted to um, buy the last badge from Dazzle because it's 15 star points. I only had 13. So I found the one I missed in Twilight Town. I knew about that one. And now we need to go to uh, Merlovely. Not Merly, but Merlovely in order to find the last one. And that's what I'll be doing now. So I'll meet you guys back at Merlovely's hut. Hello, Merlovely. I need assistance. Oh, come on. Hit A, to talk. Thank you. Ah, welcome, Mario. Seeing as seeing as my amazing abilities is what you see as my humble job. So, shall I see something for you? Star pieces, please. I need one more. I have no idea where it's at. Hocus Pocus Focus! Cabra da Abracadabra! Packable Peekaboo! <laughs> Show me what I see! Skip the animation, I don't even see it. I see a star piece! In the snowy outpost inside the house far to the right. Behind the stacked boxes. Aha, should I see anything else for you? Nope. So I guess it's time to go to far outpost. What house does she mean far to the right? Oh! Oh, that's General White's house. Okay, so let's go to General White's house then. Alrighty, on the hut side of far outpost. Ah, uh, see. Yeah, General White's house is definitely the one on the far right. It's none of these ones over here. Or these Bob, almost if you will. Uh, let's see here. Don't know why I'm going in circles! Anyway, into the White House. Yep, there's definitely a star piece back there. <laughs> Alright, now, for the last thing of this video. I want to say this right now. That is the last star piece of all 100 star pieces in the game. And now we can buy the last badge from Dazzle. I will meet you guys back at Dazzle. Alright, finally back in Rogueport Sewers. And the one thing I did want to talk about um, for the next few episodes. The final chapter, the next chapter we're going into for the Thousand Door, is the final chapter. So what I want to get rid of is all the bosses that are going to be that we need to fight through. So we need to fight Rock Hawk for the championship belt. We need to fight Prince Mush again, and we also need to do the Pit of 100 Trials, as well as the Final Troubles of Chapter 7. That's what the next few episodes are going to be after this, but with that, we now officially have bought the final badge from Dazzle, 
and there aren't too many badges left in the game. There's the badges from the Pit of 100 Trials, and then the badges from Chapter 8, because there are, I know for fact, two in the pit, in Chapter 8. Um, yeah, I, I think it's two. So this is what the badges, badges looks like in the next episode. Uh, I do want to tackle Rockhawk. I'll see you guys in the next episode.